Hello everybody, it is Aurora Sims and what is up? How you guys doing? This is a quick video on five easy steps where you can make your Sims 3 game run a little bit faster so it's actually playable. So first let's get off by saying, let's get off, get off the radar. Now let's um, start by saying that my graphics card is absolutely awful and I guess you could kind of take advice from somebody who has a terrible computer, who knows how it feels to have a crappy computer and literally spend nights trying to fix stuff and it still doesn't work. So yeah, I know how it feels, girl. I get you, or boy. I get you, I feel you, I know how it feels. So let's go ahead and get started with the five easy steps and I hope you guys enjoy. So you're gonna wanna go ahead into your documents folder. Click on Electronic Arts. You can see my documents folder is so unorganized. Go to The Sims 3, um, and then you will see all these different folders here. Now the first thing that you wanna do is, this is the delete and edit step. That's what I'ma call it. All right, so you can see that there are package files that all end with .package in The Sims 3 folder. You're gonna go ahead and click on each individual one. There should be either six or five, I'm not really sure. Okay, yeah, there's six. These files can sometimes get corrupted after you've played the game for a while. Um, so I would suggest that every week or so when you play to delete these files. They can get corrupted and cause a lot of glitches in your game and or lag. So you're gonna go ahead and press the delete button. A lot of people have already seen these steps probably and it probably has not helped. So if you have, you can go ahead and skip this step and go on to step number two. So after you've done that, you can click on your DDC, DDC, DC backup folder. Um, you will see that there's ccmerge.package here. That is one file that you're definitely going to need. Now, mine is empty because I usually delete it before I play. The thing that you're going to want to do is if you go on the launcher a lot, there will be a whole lot of files here. You want to make sure that you delete all those files except for CC Merge. Do not delete that. I am warning you guys right now, do not delete this file. It is very, very important. It is. So make sure you don't delete it because <laughs> it will screw you over. Um, so go ahead and delete all the other files that you have in here and then we can go ahead and go on to the next step. All right. So now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and go into featured items. Now this one is not as important, but it can still help your game just as good. We're gonna go and <laughs> see how many things I have in here. Now this is the same thing with the package files. Whenever you delete this, it will regenerate. So we're gonna go ahead and click on all this. You will have them in the thousands sometimes. They will literally be in the thousands, if not the, I've had a friend have like 5,000, so yeah <laughs> um let's see let's go ahead and all right next we're gonna go ahead and um go into our screenshots folder you should have screenshots in here and i am a girl that loves pictures in my game so i'm warning you guys to de not delete them but put them in another folder so you can take all these screenshots before you play and move them into your pictures folder or something just move them somewhere else where they're not in the game taking up space all right so here is another step so we're going to get into a step two which is using the save cleaner now if you don't know what the save cleaner is it is basically this program that can help your save files it basically cleans it up for you i went ahead and searched it up because i have it but i couldn't find it and now i found it so um, I will link this site down below so you guys can actually download it. I already have it downloaded. So you're going to keep scrolling down until you find Save Cleaner V2.2. I actually have point .1, but you could just use point .2. It doesn't matter. All right, so now we can go ahead and download it. This should be the zip version. Yep. All right. Um, you are going to need WinRAR or 7-Zip for this. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. I have WinRAR. I think I have both, actually. But, um, yeah, so it doesn't really matter which one you use. You're going to open the so, file, and something should say save underscore cleaner. going to go ahead and double-click on that. And this is one thing that really helps, like really, really helps, especially when you're dealing with glitches and huge lag in one specific world. I know I have problems with like some games and then other games it's like really fast. Um, that also may have to do with the world that you're playing in and things like that. So go ahead and click on this and we'll wait for it to load up. Okay, there we go. 
All right, so there are two things that it says. It says clean, clear memory, backup save. Um, th this can also help back up your files as well. So I'm just gonna click on a random family file. I would say go for a bigger family. All right guys, so that one did take a little bit. It says save clean has been completed. I have shrunk your saves from 668.43 megabytes to 579.76 megabytes. The percentage is 13.26%. So that basically says how much they've cleaned your files. Obviously this file was very big because not only does this family live in a big house, but they are also a huge, huge family. So one thing I've also learned besides the game is that the launcher does cause a lot of issues within the game. So I am advising you guys to not to, I guess, avoid the launcher as much as you can. Now I know you're probably asking, okay girl, how can you avoid the launcher? Well, the first thing that I would advise you guys to do is go ahead and there's actually a file that you can download that will change um, Sims 3 pack files into package files, which will make your life a whole lot easier. So let's go ahead and get into that really, really quick. Um, let's see, I think it's this one, if I'm not mistaken. No, this is the pack cleaner. Which one is it? I don't even know. Do I even have it anymore? That's the real question. Yes, okay. It's called the Sims 3 Pack Multi Installer. All right, so let's go ahead and click into that. This should be... And I'm just gonna tell you guys what this does. I'm not gonna give you the whole process because it would honestly take forever. And I want this to be a kind of quick and easy video where you guys can really understand how to do this. So basically when you're in this kind of thing, this program, which I will also link down below, this part is where you put in your Sims 3 packs. So it'll tell you, you know, like, Basically, you have to put all your Sims 3 packs into one folder. You can go ahead and browse that folder and basically tell the program where your package files is and then where you want to extract it to. You can then click the extract button and it'll change your Sims 3 packs into package files and you can move those into mods and packages and it'll make your life a whole lot easier. All right guys, so one more program that I would suggest, this will be the last and final step, is um, S. 3PE, I think it's called. Um, I will go ahead and link that down below as well and you can download that too. Um, and basically what this does is it'll combine all of the files that you have and change it into one package file. I do this for hair and accessories, basically anything that you could think of. So you're gonna first click new. All right, and I will get make another video that's more in depth about this whole process because I know it can be a really, really long process and um, I don't want it to take so long. So um, next you're gonna right click, click on import, experimental as DBC. All right, I actually have one folder with all of my hairs in it, which can help or I can use a folder with all my skins in it. And I think I'll do that because I actually do need to do that. We're gonna go ahead and do all this. Click on all the skins. Click the open. All right, and then we can save it somewhere. I guess I'll just save in the electronic arts folder. Um, the Sims 3, put it in mods, packages. Okay, so we'll name it skin. And basically what this is doing, it is it, it's taking all your individual skin packages that you have, um, I have a bunch of skins, and it'll add them into one single package, which makes it less likely to cause issues because they're all in one big file, and it also helps become more, more organized. So it's basically like you're putting all your things into one folder and moving it into the package folder. So once you click the save button, It'll, it'll process, it should take a while depending on how much you have. Um, and then that's pretty much it. That should make your game run a lot faster. Once you get everything together, your package folders are more organized or your package files are more organized. You've avoided the launcher at all costs. You've deleted your catchy files and you've done the save cleaner. Your game should run a little bit more smoother. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, any at all, leave it down below. Um, I'm not the best explainer, so this is really difficult for me. But anyways, if you guys have any questions or anything of that nature, just leave a comment down below or any tutorials that you'd love to see from me. I will definitely be happy to do them. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, have an awesome day.